Hey guys, under the video about the Moon Lantern, where have been many comments about having trouble obtaining it, I understand that the game was released two months ago and for many it's no longer relevant, however not everyone started playing the game immediately after its release and many still don't know where to find this dumb lantern. In this video I'll try to show all the possible ways to protect yourself from the shadow curse that I know. So, if you are traveling to the Moonrise Towers through Grimforge, you'll start in this location. A bit further ahead, you'll encounter a small group of people who are being attacked by creatures emerging from the shadows. Here I recommend helping them deal with this evil and in return they lead you to a safe place. Follow them to the Last Light Inn. You'll meet a rather extraordinary character there and to be honest she is not very welcoming for the first time, but that's okay. All of this is resolved quite simply. Now we need to talk to Jehaira and follow her advice, which is to go to and get blessing from Isabel. However, here is you may run into serious problems. After receiving the blessing, enemies will try to kidnap priestess. We can of course save her, but the battle will be very, very tough. And if you don't win, the enemy will abduct Isabel. The barrier that protects everyone hiding from curse at this inn will be vanished. This is the worst outcome. If we manage to save the priestess, then everything's fine. We got the protection from the curse and we are free to go anywhere. But still, I recommend doing things differently, namely not going to her for a blessing for avoid a dangerous clash with the enemy, then Isabel will be safe and everyone else in the tavern as well. Instead, we should attack the patrol passing by this location. We can kill them all and Draetor's corpse will have a moon lantern. Immediately a cutscene should activate. A small pixie is trapped inside the lantern, suffering a lot while emitting that same light. I recommend releasing her, not only out of human considerations, but also because this way we can get protection from the curse and our lantern won't occupy weapon slots. Otherwise, we'll have to hit all our enemies on the head with lantern, which is not convenient. The pixie will give us little bell that will protect the entire party from the curse. Cool, right? Okay, what if I'm traveling through mountain pass, you ask? In my humble opinion, it's even easier here. At the very beginning, you'll be greeted by a goblin who will ask you if you are a true soul everyone's been waiting for. Say yes, it's you and just move forward a bit. There you will encounter a group of goblins who have been waiting for you. The main goblin will ask if you have a spider lyre. If you took it from Mintara, say yes. Then play a beautiful melody, if you pass the check of course, and a drider will arrive. Again, with a lantern. He'll agree to accompany to the moonrise. If you have no lyre, you still can talk this out. On the way, you'll be ambushed and attacked by those who want to take the lantern from you and, of course, kill you. Here we have to choose sides, either join in harpers or protect the rider. It doesn't really matter how to act, the outcome will be the same. If you kill harpers, no one beside your escort will know about it. If you kill the rider, the harpers will ask you for lantern to make it to the lightless inn. Here you can do as you please. I personally don't see the point in making detour and running back and forth. I kill everyone. Yes, I am that mean. The drider has good loot. I take the lantern, free the pixie, both human and practical reasons, and get my little bed from pixie. Then I head straight to the towers. There is one more way to get the lantern, which is for those who are experiencing various glitches in the game. Some may not have a drider and his patrol, they simply didn't appear in the game for some reason. Someone may have killed the drider and not found the lantern in his loot, among many other glitches. In this case, you can still go to the last late inn and get a blessing from Isabel, but don't forget about the threat of your abduction. 
I recommend that you and all your companions take torches and head straight to the Moonrise Towers on your own. Once you reach the location, you should enter inside, watch all the cutscenes and talk to all characters relevant to the plot. They'll tell you where to find another lantern. Excellent timing, true soul. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. Go to the room with Balthazar, take the lantern and that's it. You have a lantern, you protect it from curse and the only downside is that you occupied a weapon slot. But considering your situation is better than running around the torturous. If this video was helpful to you, hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you soon!